30 years of German reunification. What does that mean to me? For me, it means being able to be here as a head of school at the German International School of Civic and Ballet. 30 years ago, it meant for me New York. I was a student at the East Berlin Humboldt University back then. Um, and if you know Berlin, you know that the Humboldt University is about 10 minutes away from the Brandenburg Gate under the Linden. On the other side of the Brandenburg Gate, like a mirror basically, is a technical university. And before the wall came down, a math professor from New York used to teach at the Technical University and his plan was to get in contact with the East Berlin Humboldt University. So when the wall came down and the German reunification happened, he was so excited that he walked all the way from the Technical University on the western side through the Brandenburg Gate to the East Berlin Humboldt University right into the math department and not only started a collaboration, but also invited three students. And I was one of the lucky ones who got a full ride scholarship and off I went to New York. Uh, in New York, I experienced the first time bilingual education and what that brings in your mindset, in your problem solving strategies and thinking in general and growing up and me looking at those uh, English Spanish, English Chinese schools meant that I need to take it home and we need to rethink our didactics and how we teach mathematics. And back in Berlin, I wrote math books for schools in East and Western Germany and I became a teacher. I taught in Berlin, in Houston, Texas, in New York, in Washington, D.C. and finally decided to go further in, in school development and became a head of school, first at the American School in Berlin and now of the German School in Silicon Valley. And therefore, German reunification also means for me, open your mind, think intercultural, dual lingual, and yeah, not only different lifestyles, but different ways of thinking, of problem solving. But being a student back then in Berlin also means that I will always make sure as an educator that my students learn that it is not right to build walls.